video in now. The day is rolling along faster than I can keep up with it. I woke up at one or two in the morning, not feeling too well, but I stayed up for a little while with Jay while he got work started. He had to start rolling early to get to New Jersey for a quick drop and hook and then down partially the way to Miami, but not all the way. I guess it's a relay load and we're gonna hand off to somebody. And we're checking out this traffic jam on Waze and this is what it looks like. Where are we? Past Delaware. Um, are we still in Maryland? Near Washington, D.C. He said we're near Washington, D.C. Right. if you didn't catch that. Maybe still in Maryland. Um, and I checked on Waze and it said that there is a tree trunk in the road, or at least there's a cartoon picture of a tree trunk on the, on the hazard symbol. And, um, yeah, it's pretty slow going. But it is Thursday, April 28th, and uh, we're quickly approaching home time days, yet we are going further away from home. We're going south. And um, I'm just hoping after we relay this load and pass it on to whoever that they turn us around or send us back up to Connecticut, Massachusetts area. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty bad. So Waze said it would slow us, or no, Google Maps said it might slow us down about over a half an hour. And it just started raining and it's warming up quite a bit out there. It was cold this morning. We almost ran the battery down. Uh, the APU unit in the back uh, doesn't turn on as soon as you turn on heat or air conditioning. It turns on when you blast them, when you really give it a lot of power and turn them way up. But I didn't want to turn the heat way up. I kept it at a low temperature last night, so it never really turned on, I don't think, while we were sleeping. It just blew out a little bit of warm air and it was perfect comfortable but the APU never actually kicked into gear and I think it was just draining the truck battery. I don't know. I uh, I was asking Jay right before he fell asleep. I said uh, is it just going to slowly drain the battery the way maybe the way leaving lights on in your car does and again then the battery would be dead or is this APU going to kick on knowing knowing, like it knows things, that uh, it needs to, the battery is being drained and it needs to come on. I don't really know how it works. We're not totally clear on that. It's kind of tricky. It's an older APU unit. Um, when we get a new truck, supposedly they work better and you can regulate the temperature better. So that'll be nice. That'll be good for the summer, especially when you need air conditioning heavily and then of course winter when you need heat heavily but well actually I shouldn't say that because we are getting it heavy we're just not getting moderate is the problem we can blast heat back there and swelter to death but um, we'd be too hot in the winter and too cold in the summer weird that's the update it's still early in the day I'll be back saw a sign that said, Welcome to Washington, D.C. So that's where we are. And I've noticed for the last three miles, everything is made out of brick. They love brick here. Brick, brick. It's guaranteed to be brick. gotten to the point where I want to look it up online and see why that might be. It's because of bad weather or because they've got a, a lot of spare bricks flying around. Boy, I wish we could hang out for the day here. love to see some of Washington's sights. Right here. Wow, oh, this is a maze. There was probably 
taken. Oh, it's a bad luck. It's hard. We're following a GPS that's not for trucks, so keeping our eyes out for no truck signs. I think you could. You can't. Can't make this turn here. It really was only supposed to be four miles away, but. GPS lady's going berserk. <laughs> She's like three route, three route. What are you doing? Make a big fat right turn, quick. Brick as far as the eye can see. They even painted that yellow. It's still brick. Anyway, I really like this. It's, it seems congested, but I love all the trees and grass. And it just looks, um, it looks nice. like it. I'm in trouble. I see the truck up there. He's calling me. He wants me to come back. But I've been walking around in the rain and I my phone died in the rain. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's so pretty here, isn't it? Gotta hand it to the Washington. It's pretty. Alright, he's really mad at me. I gotta go. We ended up downtown, and I ended up falling in love with downtown Washington and the outskirts, all those brick buildings, apartment living buildings. I could see myself living out the rest of my life here. It has everything. like the old New York. And then I guess Jay was just telling me that the buildings have ordinances where they can't go too high, which really helps. It makes the whole skyline, the whole ambiance of the place way better just to have these buildings not be blocking your sunlight and um, being ominous. You can actually uh, feel like you're still outside in the world and not secluded in some kind of city jail. I really like it. And they make sure there's a lot of trees and grass here. Tons of them. They keep it really green. It's been nice, but we got stuck here. We didn't mean to be here. We tried to go to a Walmart and the Walmart ended up being a brick building tucked away into a like a high-rise building. It was, <laughs> um, it, it appears that the Petco and the Subway and all the shops are just little brick entryways at the bottoms of these buildings. So it's not what we're used to. And there was no parking for trucks. And we had to park along the side of the road where the buses usually park. And wait a half an hour for the break. But I had a nice walk around town, took some pictures, so check out the pictures at the end of this vlog, and I'll check in soon.